Okay, we did it. <sighs> what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the stream, and a very happy Friday, one and all, and of course, a very happy St. Patrick's Day, one and all, as well. Oh, I should have your headphones over there for you, because you're going to need them. I believe I set that up. Make sure you can hear. Right now, there shouldn't be any sound yet, but I'm going to need a moment. Okay. Can you hear? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Well, then we did it. Hi, everybody. Hi. Erica is here and says, hi, Joe and Amy. Much love to you both. I'm here, but I'm about to do a group dungeon in Final Fantasy XIV, so I may be too occupied to type when stream really starts, but I am, in fact, here. Okay. At... Well, thanks, Erica. Yeah, thanks for being here, and I hope it's fun. What? There was a noise in the background. Yeah, I heard it, too. I don't know what it was. But... I don't know either. Anyway. See, Holland's here and says, hello, you have power. Yeah, we sure we do. We do. That's a hell of a story. We'll get into that for sure. Do you want me to go check on it? No. Okay. No, I do not. Okay. It's a little loud, no? For me? Yeah. No. Okay. How's that? Did that change for you at all? No. Good. Even better. So, uh, we did it. We're here. We have done the thing. I have... <sighs> we have fixed up this place a bit since last week when we were here. Um, so now we have a table and a proper streaming setup to a degree. Um, we are still working off of OBS only for this. Uh, so... There's still going to be a portion of the screen that we can't see. Um, but to be fair, it's the same portion that you all can't see either. So <laughs> hopefully it's not too important, huh? Hopefully. <laughs> okay. So yeah, uh, obviously folks, uh, as C. Holland correctly reminds us all, uh, <laughs> Amy and I were not on stream on Monday as we typically are when, you know... Uh, every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but because of that, if anybody has any news since last week when we were here, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know how life has been, how you all are, etc. Good, bad, or indifferent. We want to know it all. Yeah. Um, and we will have quite a bit to say ourselves. Don't you worry. So um, we'll, we'll tell the stories of our many woes if you will <laughs> uh for what has happened to us this past week yeah guys let us know if you can hear us well enough in the game that too uh by the way oh there's just bones strewn all over the place yes cool yes cool cool yes and in fact we are the ones bringing ourselves down in this elevator oh So now here comes the ceiling and enemy friends. Oh. oh. Just... Shit. Reassemble themselves. Nope, wrong button, wrong time. button. Okay, okay. Really? Ah. Oh. Yeah, so they stop the gears. So even if I try to ignore them, it does not matter. No, I pressed it wrong. We're good. Yes, 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 yes. The ceiling was shaking, which means it was about to fall on us. Uh, Winter is here and says, Good to see you survived the storm. Enemy friends, LOL. Yeah. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, the storm here wasn't that bad. Well, no, but again, we said that we were having a storm coming. And we had no power. Oh. That's what that's what uh, she's referring to. Well, that wasn't the reason we had no power, unfortunately. No, it was not. Um. Yes. Do you want to 
start getting into it? Well, let's do our intro first, since I haven't done that. I kind of just got right into it. Yeah, I'm um, going make it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess, for those of you who may be new, whether you're watching live or on the VOD, what's going on, everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. We are Geek for All, and we are here to continue our playthrough of God of War 2 on the PlayStation 2. Make it, make it, make it. Okay. Go, go, go. Quick, quick, quick. Faster. Yes, we did it. Nice. They died. Anyway, so, uh, yes. Uh, if if you missed the stream last week, obviously the VOD is up on Video Games for All. We encourage you to go check that out. Um, oh, hi. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so for those of you who didn't see, we were not here on Monday. Uh, and the reason for that was... That Monday during the day, we uh, we had a uh, person here who was uh, working to set up our washer and dryer for us, um, which was very necessary and important, and we were grateful that he was here to do that. Um, but um, while he was setting up that washer and dryer for us, power just goes out. I was up here working, and, and actually Amy and I were like watching something and eating some food. Power goes out, so we're like, oh my god, the guy who's downstairs, like, did he get electrocuted? Did he like cut into a wall or something? So we wanted to yeah, so make sure I, he was okay. I ran down into the basement and was like, hey, are you okay? And he was like, yeah, I'm fine, but something happened. It wasn't me, though. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So I went down there and we were looking around. He's like, where's your circuit breaker box? And I showed him the circuit breaker box and he was saying, well, um, basically what we realized is that the furnace was making noises like it was, um, working really really hard and then it would just shut off the um the circuit the main circuit of power for the house um, at least that's what we thought yes uh but well that wasn't not happening but there was a reason why it was happening <laughs> so of course because that was the issue we, uh, the, the repairman had to go because he, there was not much more I oh, know <laughs> damn it there was not much more that he could do uh, and so he left and was going to come back after the storm itself uh, which was then uh, Thursday so yesterday um, but between then and and you know when Monday, when this was happening, and Thursday, when he was going to come back, obviously we needed to fix whatever the problem was. So yeah. we called a furnace tech, or at least a company that uh, repaired furnaces, and had somebody come out. Uh, and they told us, now not that we didn't know that, you know, shit's old. Um, but uh, the furnace tech tells us, comes in and looks, and is like, wow, this is wrong with it, this is wrong with it, this is wrong with it, this is a problem, whatever. Uh, you know, I can't believe they did all this. Um, and so, FYI, uh, you need to replace your furnace. Just entirely replace it. Right. Which, you know, costs between, according to him, uh, nine, uh, well, depending on the, the type of system. Oh, wow. We were quoted $9,000 plus dollars or $17,000 plus dollars. You know, chump change, of course, especially for one, us, but two, anyone who has bought a house in this day and age, because uh, we just did. So a lot of money. But then we've come to find out, he's like, all right, well, if the electric is the problem, right? The electric is off to your whole house. Because, like, okay, you won't have a furnace, but you know, let's keep the breaker for the furnace off and turn on the breaker for the rest of your house and see what, you know, uh, see if we can at least get power back to the rest of your house. Right. So, go ahead and, and read. Winter says, the 
the funnest thing to hear when you move into a new house. Uh, JFC. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, see, Holland says, was he trying to gouge you? So, yes and no. I mean, they're like a big, reputable company, so he wasn't necessarily trying to gouge us. He was, I mean, he was trying to get commission, right? That's part one. But um, he was very much like, okay, you know, mid-efficiency system is this. A high-efficiency system where we can combine it with your hot water heater is, is the more expensive option. Um, but, uh, yeah, he was basically trying to upsell us as opposed to giving us any option of something, God forbid, cheaper. Well, so um, basically his point was he could take the time to sit there and look at all of these issues that the furnace had to try to determine which of them was the cause of the problem. Yeah. But rather than doing that, you would just give us um, the quotes for replacing it with a standard unit or a combination unit, which would be um, combining it with the hot water heater. Yeah. Because then, when he looked at the hot water heater, he was like, Ooh, yeah, you probably want to replace this soon, too. Um, so, you know, the combination unit would make sense for you. Which, again, he wasn't wrong about, but that's a ridiculous amount of money for somebody that just bought it. Yeah, I mean, that's a ridiculous amount of money for anybody. Correct. $17,000 is a lot of fucking money. Yes. So... But, but then with the suggestion of, hey, let's just try to turn the housebreaker on so that at worst, you won't have a furnace, but you'll have electricity. So he keeps the furnace breaker off, trips the main uh, pull, you know, uh, turns on the main breaker. House stays on for a couple of seconds and then immediately turns off, which is exactly what it had done. The thought that's what I was supposed to do. Okay, we're good. Um, which is exactly what it had done the last time. So, uh, it wasn't the furnace. So instead, we got an ele we got an electrician. Which at this point, it was after 5 p.m. Which means that all places were closed. How do I drop down here? Because I can't. How the hell? I can't, it won't let me jump back over. Do I just go like this? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Anyway. Uh, uh, oh. Erica says, my dungeon run is done now, so oh. I'm here for real now. Well, welcome back, Erica. Hope it was good. Let us know. Um, We're explaining what happened to us for the last week or two on, days. Or and uh, sl slash on Monday when we were in here for the stream. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, no, I don't want to quit the game. Um... So, we realize now that we need an electrician. So we call an electrician to come out. But like I said, it's after 5 p.m., which means that the only places that are open are places that do emergency uh, work. And that means emergency pricing as well. Because, you know, everybody's got to get their uh, pound of flesh from Joe and Amy. Because... Yeah. They sure did. Um, but props to the tech that came out. Guy was great. Looked at our system. Because, you know, when you buy a new house and you just had uh, furnace tech tell you you got to replace the furnace, what do you want to hear uh, except that you also need to replace your entire electrical panel? Which is what we heard right then and there. Uh, it was rusted to shit. The contacts were awful and filthy and etc. So, uh, why am I hearing enemies? Oh, one over here. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that was. Uh, I think. Are you thinking of the furnace when you say the contacts? No, the contacts. The okay. isn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. But the um, the panel was rusted as hell, so it needed to be replaced. So we were like, okay, I mean, whatever. Whatever you need to do, you gotta do. Yeah, I mean, he essentially thought that, like, whatever moisture intrusion had been happening 
uh, was possibly the cause of the issue. So he replaced the circuit breaker box. Okay, so you can read a couple of things there. Um, see, Holland says, that's quick, Erica. So, 9 to 17K again. <laughs> Thankfully <laughs> not, but that was definitely a concern. Right. Um, so, it, the emergency pricing was that the for the tech... of the Phoenix, only fire will set you free. Oh. We did have to revive the Phoenix. They told us that. Give me one second. The Phoenix Chamber. You must place the ashes in the fire to resurrect the Phoenix. So there is a lever for us. Okay. Oh, and there goes the book. Okay. So then we go like this. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's a burger. <laughs> so now it shows this lifting up, going into the water, or into the water, into the lava. <laughs> but um, there was nothing in it. So. Okay. I'll fight you right now. Okay. Uh, Eric says the dungeon was fine. Was a little miffed that the tank just sort of ran through and pulled like the entire dungeon's enemies at once. Nice. And then got more miffed when everyone but me skipped the boss scene. Wow. That does suck. Yeah. So I entered the fight when I was halfway done. When it was halfway done. That sucks. Yeah. Winter says, I don't think I've ever heard a story about someone buying a house and not having to spend like 10k repairing surprise things that were left to rot by the previous owners. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Pretty standard. What do we have here? I mean, we bought this house, like... You've acquired the Hail of Boreas. Let's look at that now. Um, we bought this house. We bought this house essentially during COVID, or, like, at the end of COVID. So, like, I mean, it was right around the time where I was hearing a lot from coworkers and um, you know colleagues in the industry of real estate that um, people were just at that point really starting to feel uh, very gypped and um, remorseful about having bought houses during the pandemic uh, that were essentially falling apart uh, with no inspections and no, um, you know, and, and paying, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 more for the house than it was really worth, um, simply because demand was so high and inventory was so low. Um, so... I mean, we had the benefit of, you know, me knowing a little bit more than just the average person. And, um, you know, we had the benefit of, uh, like, knowing people who were able to find the inventory that existed but that doesn't mean that we actually were prepared for the kinds of things that we would encounter in terms of the repairs that we would need to do. Um, so. Yeah. So then, Atlas is quite sure. Um, so then, because the electrician comes out and he has to replace the panel, he says, okay, I gotta go out to Home Depot or whatever and buy this panel and come back and so uh you know he's like he's like just fyi this is gonna take me like three or four hours to finish and so that was the point by the way when we all when we made that video and sent it out to all of you because he had come out at around six or so uh p.m p.m and you know three or four more hours meant well past the start of the stream 
And it's a good thing that we did what we did when we did, because it took a lot more than four hours. Sure did. Because we are not at the end of our story. Uh, so <laughs> he well, hold on. Let me read a couple oh, messages please. here. Please do. Thank um, you. Um, Winter says, who would have thought Roll's eyes? My what? parents did that too. Yeah. I mean, we didn't purchase a house. Uh, during the pandemic for the same reason that most other people did. Um, we just were going to be buying a house anyway, and that's just kind of when it fell, which um, was a huge disadvantage, um, to say the least. Uh, so. Sure was. Uh, Erica says, also, it might just be me, but in my opinion, I think you guys' volume could go up a bit and the game volume could go down a bit. You got it. I can do that. Thank, Thank you. you. That might be a bit too much, but let me know. Yeah. What do you guys think of it now? Yeah. Okay, so... I did that. Okay, so that's not that. We want to go this way. Oh! Oh! There was a pit there. What? It was very difficult to tell. It's very dark. Yeah, you hit what? <laughs> Just all of a sudden we were dead. <laughs> yep. Erica says that's so much better to me. Perfect. Thank you, Erica. I appreciate it, as always. But you can still hear the game, right? I just want to make sure. Valid question. Okay, so where did we leave off on our story? Uh, so he goes out to get the electrical panel. We make the video for all of you lovely individuals to let you know that we're not streaming because we have no electricity. And we, we knew that we, we needed to get the issue resolved before the storm, which is why we mentioned it, right? Because it was going to start snowing that night around 8 p.m. Uh, and it was not going to stop snowing until Wednesday at 8 a.m. Yeah. And we were going to get like 8 to 16 inches or something insane. So this guy comes out and realizes... God damn it, this stupid dude. Realizes... I'm bad at this. That he needs to replace the panel. So he goes and gets the panel. We find out how much time it's going to take him, etc., etc. And uh, he comes back and he says, Okay, uh, I've got the panel he goes to put it in and then after he puts in the panel he comes up to see us from our basement and he says all right it's probably only going to be another half hour goes out to get something from his truck goes back downstairs and then we see lights beginning to turn on uh and stuff and then flicker and go out again and then other lights go on and flicker and go out again and and on and on just like that so erica says yep just better balanced you know thanks yeah. erica thank you oh fuck me with the hole in the okay um i'll i'll be better at this kind of um so these wings are effing boss <laughs> I'm, i love I'm, them i like them a lot too yeah thanks icarus sorry we had to kill you um <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. At least the sun didn't. Yeah. Nice. So, um, no, it was literally the other direction. Uh, <laughs> so. Oh, God. Um, so, he then uh, comes back up and says, okay, so the new panel's in. Everything works fine. Uh, but it's still not working for some reason. So I have to go check outside. So we wanted to go out and check our meter outside to make sure that um, it wasn't something on the end of, like on, on the outside and in, in where it connects to the house or, oops, I did the wrong thing and died, okay. Uh, or that it wasn't, didn't have to relate to our provider uh, instead of, you know, on our end, but it was maybe on the end of the pole instead. So now to check the where it connects to the house, since it connects up, he had to call for someone else to come out in a separate truck, a bucket truck, that could be extended up to look at the side of the house that way. 
which meant we had to wait for that second truck to come out. So we're waiting longer, and this electrician is still here doing his work, slash at this point waiting, but still. We are paying for the privilege of him being there. Um, despite the fact that it's an hourly rate at emergency rates, by the way, because I don't yeah. mind telling people, of $175 an hour was how much the company charged. And again, I'm not upset with that price uh, necessarily. I mean, I, I am, am, but I, I am. But I don't think it's like they were the only game in town, which is why they could charge that, that was available at that time because we called many companies. Well, I Googled many companies and saw that they were all closed. And that one didn't say when it closed. But you still called a few, if I recall. Yeah, and I like got a you know busy tone or whatever. Yeah. Shit, every time. <sighs> I'm so bad at this. Um, so, go ahead. You can read this. Uh, Marcus is here and says, "Welcome back, friends. You were missed with Thank a yellow heart." Thank you, Marcus. You were missed too. You all yeah. were. Uh, we. We would have much rather been hanging out with all of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, what we were doing instead was not enjoyable. Let's it put it not. that way. It was not. Um, so he we. Says, Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> no problem, man. We are happy you're here. Yeah, we were telling the story of of what happened to us on Monday. Uh, so after the emergency electrician visit, um, oh, I gotta kill both of these guys now. Uh, yeah. Anyway, he calls for the bucket truck. And uh, the bucket truck comes out, which means another guy comes out, of course. Um, and they go and check the contacts on the side of the house, and they think they look fine. You know, no issues with them whatsoever. So now they have to call our provider. And they have to call our provider on the emergency line and tell them, listen, you got to come out and check this because we've checked everything on our end. It's nothing wrong on our end. So, you know, you need to send somebody out to check the pole. Now, our electrician tells us that when they call the provider, because, you know, electrical providers are who they are and how they are, um, uh, they call and, and mention to the dispatcher or whatever what the problem is, and the dispatcher goes, yeah, okay. And so sends out a truck, but it's a truck with uh, two guys in it, but it is not a bucket truck despite the fact that our electrician told him it's on the side or it's on the it's on the pole side which means it's up so they the dispatcher still didn't check the uh didn't send a bucket truck instead just sent two guys in a regular truck who then when they got there they checked our electrician's work they checked the side of the house the meter outside they checked um the work that he did in our basement oh i died great uh, he checked the work in our basement as well, or they checked the work in our basement as well, uh, and then, then they called for a bucket truck. After all that, which uh, you know was great. It took except, a lot more time. Yes. <laughs> well, not even that it took a lot more time. That was when the electrician came in and told us. He was like, "I wish I had better news for you, but you need to get a hotel tonight." Yeah. So it had already been snowing. Uh, we were here in the house, bundled up like crazy because we had no electricity, including heat. I was literally swaddled in our bedding. I was wearing a sweatshirt. I was wearing a coat. And then I was wearing two or three blankets and I was literally swaddled and couldn't move my arms. It was very cold. It had gotten down to, which in and of itself doesn't sound too bad, but it had gotten down to uh, like 50 degrees in here at the at its coldest point. Yeah, which is a nice temperature when you're outside, uh, but when you're inside, it's not supposed to be 50 degrees. Um. So now we have to go pay for a hotel, despite the fact that, by the way, when the electrician left... Very apologetically. But when the electrician left, he gave us the bill. Which, for the amount of time that he was there, that at the end we still didn't have electricity. Correct. Was over $1,300. And we then needed to go stay in a hotel for the night. 
Now, I had spoken earlier to our homeowner's insurance because I was like... Oh, not because. We didn't tell that part of the story. Oh. Because... Go ahead. When we were there with the furnace tech, I mentioned earlier... Oh, shit. I mentioned earlier when we were in with the furnace tech that we had flipped the main breaker on while the furnace breaker was off just to see if we could get electricity without the furnace being a problem. Based on that, it didn't work and, and we had to turn the power back off again. Um, based on all of that, the furnace tech says that we need to call, you know, whoever, what are the, oh, that was when he determined we need to call the electrician. So Amy goes up to go get a phone to call the electrician. And as she walks to the stairs to come up from our basement, which is where we were with the furnace tech, we all smell something. All of us. Yep. Something awful. Mm -hmm. We're like, what is that? And so we come up and we're trying to figure out what it is. And with the help of the furnace tech, we all determine that it is the stove slash oven in our, in our kitchen. Yeah. The back board of it. The electrical. Fried. And there was a visible burn mark. Uh, I didn't see the burn mark until I went to go take the pictures for the homeowner's insurance. But there was a very visible burn mark on the back of our oven. So, that was before the electrician came out. Before we even called them. Right. We had a burnt out oven, so that was when... Amy knew that she had to call uh, the electri the um, insurance company. Insurance. Thank you. Yeah, and after speaking to them, they said, now this was in the afternoon uh, when I called the homeowner's insurance. Now they said, okay, well, if they're unable to fix the heat or electricity prior to you going to bed tonight and you need to stay in a hotel, give us a call back. Well, we didn't find out the information about needing to stay in a hotel until midnight. If not later. It was midnight. And maybe 12.10. And so I called the homeowner's insurance back. And needless to say, no one picked up the phone. Uh, they didn't even have the ability to leave a message for anybody. Not that it would have helped because I'm sure it would have just been uh, answered in the morning. So, uh, I was on hold for a very long time until I finally gave up. Which meant that we had to pay out of pocket for the hotel, besides the fact that when we were uh, given the bill by the electrician, that was also expected to be paid right then and there out of pocket with a, a credit card. Which, uh, for how we do banking, I, I didn't yet have the mobile app. And actually, it wouldn't have mattered because my phone was dead. Um, but... I couldn't have access to our computers because we didn't have power or internet, of course, because we didn't have power. So all of that, uh, we stay at the hotel. <laughs> the, the oven is now burnt out. So we don't have an oven. We don't have electricity. We don't have, uh, anything. Right. Um, and we now know that, um, we have to come back the next day. And of course, we know that there's a huge storm coming the next day. Mm -hmm. That's going to be over two days long or, right. or over a day long, I should say. So we went and stayed at the hotel. We went and picked up food because we sure as hell couldn't eat, you know, yeah. or cook anything here. And we didn't want to open our fridge because opening the fridge would have ruined everything. Yeah. When we did get back, Shit. I did open the fridge because I wanted to see if it was still cold in there. So I quickly opened it, checked it, and quickly closed it again um, to not let all the cold air out. But we'll get to why that didn't matter ultimately. Yeah, so read some more of, of our <laughs> friends here because we're, we're blowing people's minds. And if it makes you feel any better, we had to absorb that information across the whole week. I know all of you are getting it all immediately. But right. Still. 
Yes, but for us, it was a lot of anxious waiting, so I don't know which is better, honestly. Um, uh, Marcus says, uh, the Jeskai Giant deck is two cards from being finished. Hell yeah, congrats. Awesome. Uh, Certland uh, uh, Elementalist and... uh, I can't see. Certland (laughs) Elementalist and Robber and Krista. Yeah. Awesome, Marcus. That's really cool. Uh, Winter says, I love uh, paying the hourly rates for other people's incompetence. (laughs) Uh, A straight mouth face. Reminds me of dealing with doctors. Mm. Mm, Same. Mm. (laughs) Uh, Winter says, "Uh, that sucks. I'm so sorry to hear that. (laughs) Uh, Sad looking down face. Uh, What a sucky night. It's not done yet. Well, that night is, I guess, done. Yeah, but, but... it's not. Otherwise, it's not done yet. <laughs> oh my god! The story's getting... not over. Holy shit! Stop. So, C. Holland says, "Geek for all drinking game. Take a shot every time Joe dies in the stream." Yeah, I read that right before uh, a little while ago, and I've been trying my hardest, C. Holland. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the drinking game should be take a drink every time we talk about uh, an astronomical amount of money we needed to pay for something. Yeah, you'd probably it's probably about the same number. Yeah. Um, Winter says, "Oh no." <laughs> that was the because of the oven. Yeah. The sea Holland says, "Sheesh!" with a uh, eye rolling face. Yep. Uh, Marcus says, "What the funkin waggles?" <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Winter says, uh, Schrodinger's fridge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you don't open it, the food is both spoiled and fresh at the same time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's very funny. I like that. Uh, Winter says, I, I would have burned the house down by then and collected the insurance money. Uh, a winky, big smile face. And Marcus has a sideways crying laughing face and says, uh, be right back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, oh my God. So (laughs) we go to the hotel and we get some like Taco Bell or whatever, some comfort food. Uh, Just anything hot that was still open. (laughs) Pretty much. Yeah. Well, you had, you had gotten it before technically and brought it back here. Uh, Right. But still. Move, 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 move. That's, I mean, we called the insurance company to try to get the hotel room at midnight. Yes. So it was already past the point of anything else besides Taco Bell being open. Well, no, but it, we, we we went to get Taco Bell while the electrician was still working before we knew that it was nothing. Oh, we did. Okay. Well, either way. No! Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm learning slowly, but I'm also just trying to tell this story, so I, I kind of don't care. Like, I apologize if this is boring, but I figure the story is interesting enough to keep people interested. But So, yeah, so we wake up the next morning at the hotel, which we had to pay for out of pocket, which, shout out to my dad. He helped us out big time, big, big time. So, thanks, Dad. Uh, we love you. Uh, and <laughs> um, But, yeah, so um, we stayed at the hotel that night come back the next day when the electricians are going to meet up with us again. Basically what they told us was that morning we were to call our electric provider uh, Tuesday morning and basically say, Hey, did you ever send the bucket truck out? And if so, is the problem resolved and what was the problem so that we could then tell our electricians. And they told us like, then you can, you know, turn the main breaker back on and then slowly turn all the other breakers back on when you get home so that you can have heat, you can have electricity, you can have all these things again. But of course, yeah, well. <laughs> we, we, I say we, Amy called the electricians the next morning because I was still trying to work um, instead of having to take days off for things that were outside of my control and use my vacation days, um, which when you basically didn't have any, which, well, because we had used a bunch when we were moving because I was trying to be available to yeah. get the house ready and move and all that other stuff. So I had used a fair bit of my vacation time already. Winter says, best dad. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, uh, yeah, because, I mean, again, my parents were being nice. Like, they did the parent thing of, like, well, what can we do to help? 
nothing. Like you coming here doesn't get me power, right? You're not electricians, so they, you know, they were wondering what they could do to help, and it was like that. That is what you could do to help right. us. Help us pay for the hotel we yeah. have to stay in because we don't have power. Yeah, and because we paid thirteen hundred dollars to still not have electricity. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean that's what really <laughs> sucked. Is like. We had to pay $1,300, and then it wasn't fixed. And, well, I was going to say, pay $1,300, and then also pay for a hotel. Because right. we still didn't have heat or electricity. And, while it was, thankfully, it came, it did not come up as a big issue. Thank God. Uh, oh, God, really? Thank you. Um, we did have to, um, w we were, I should say, worried about our pipes freezing. Yeah. Thank God it did not become that big of an issue that quickly. But it could have been a real problem. Right. Uh, shit. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. So this is what I have to do. That spinning that I'm doing is opening a gate all the way back there. Okay. So I have to be able to spin to open the gate... Um, before it goes back down, I have to freeze time and then get over to, uh, the gate before it closes and or the spikes come up and kill me. Ready, go. That's my mission. Oh. You did it. I did it. Oh, look, more gates. But I can go this way. Okay, we oh. did it, everybody. We got through that one section. That's all we needed. We're good now. I've seen floor as lava. I've never seen wall as lava. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we come back the next morning, meet up with the electricians who... Uh, sorry, I guess I should rephrase. We called our provider, Amy did, and asked them what happened. Oh, God. This music's sick. Oh! Oh, shit. Uh, ow. How are we supposed to do this? Uh, oh, I think I remember. Do I remember? Nope. <laughs> that ain't Float. it. Float. No, it's not. It wouldn't work. Oh. Come on! Itch. No, I tried to use the um, the the blocking thing as well, the like sheep thing or whatever the hell you want to call it. But that doesn't work either. And there's no stopping time. So what the hell do I do here? Oh, that's what I do. Found it. Ah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, perfect. So uh, Amy calls uh, our electrical provider and says hey did you fix it what happened and they said nope there were no issues on our end we checked the pole no problems no issues um so uh we took your meter from your house uh and you are going to need an inspection uh of your electrical service before we will return your meter to you so not only did they not help us with uh the problem with the, with the fact that we had no electricity but they also took our ability to have electricity. They yeah. took our meter away. Now, to be fair, it wasn't working regardless, but it meant that if the electricians could get it working again, we would also need an inspection before we could have electricity back in our house because, and we found out this after the fact, but the, the reason that they did that is because uh, they wanted to make sure that there wasn't feedback basically from our system to their system on the pole to mess up electric for everybody else around. Go ahead and breathe in. Let's go. Did, did you hear me? What? I said, go ahead. You can read anything. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I, okay. I, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> um, Winter says, we couldn't help you. So we took your, uh, so we took you hostage. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, again, that's what I, it felt like. Right. To a degree, I get it, but that is not what I needed to hear in that moment. You know what I mean? Like, I get what their reasoning was for it, but it also was like, look, I already feel like 
you hand waved the shit out of that. Right. You didn't believe the electrician in the first place, so you didn't even send out the truck that you would have needed to actually check the problem in the first place. And then you turn around and say, nope, it wasn't a problem the next morning when we weren't there and neither was an electrician that we were paying for you to be able to, like, for us to be able to actually believe that you did something. Right. As opposed to just saying that you did something, but you actually didn't. Right. C. Holland says, do I look like a sheep? Because I'm getting fleeced. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So it was like, okay, what is happening? So... Amy calls the electricians at that point, and we were also on the phone with the insurance that same morning. Um, all that fun stuff. Um, so then we uh, we call the electricians, and they say to us, "Okay, we'll be able to be at your house at noon. You know, please be there to let us in because we got to check what's going on." They sent out their head technician, like the boss of their technicians came out basically because of everything we had just dealt with the day before um so that was cool i appreciated that of them um but i'm saying to myself i'm like okay but i just paid the night before thirteen hundred dollars to at the end of it still not have electricity so i'm not paying any more money like that would be ridiculous why would i pay more money for a service that i don't have right when i already paid for a service that i don't have yeah we essentially thought they would come back and finish what they started and then say you know thanks so much for already paying us goodbye um so but they you know. no so they come with an inspector right as was uh required as they uh said right because we had to do an inspection so they came with an inspector and with repair techs or or whatever tax experts um to try to fix the problem, or at least diagnose the problem and then fix the problem, because they still didn't know what it was, because our our tech, which by the way, the uh, electrician that we had Monday night said that he had been doing that job for 12 years and had never seen anything like the problem that we were having. Right. Which... <laughs> Not promising. No, it's that's a mixed bag. Either you're like, wow, okay, at least it was a big enough problem and it's not something dumb where the guy's just like, look, it's this. You know, it fixes it in five seconds. But also, that's not great. <laughs> I don't I don't like that. I don't want to be the, the special case that he tells stories about five years from now. Yeah. I'd rather it just get fixed in a half an hour or an hour and we pay the hourly rate and move on with our damn lives. Um, Erica says, payment in return for services almost halfway sort of rendered. <laughs> That's, it, yeah. And honestly, it was not halfway. It was not halfway rendered <laughs> at all. It was not. Because our the follow-up was uh, these guys are now trying to fix the problem. This sucks. Oh, my God. These guys are trying to fix the problem. Um, they, they then diagnosed the problem. I don't know uh, what knowledge people have of uh, electrical work. I have little to none, um, but I will tell you what they told me, which is that in our meter outside of our house, our neutral wire, which goes into the house, was corroded, just like the rest of the stuff that we had was corroded. Right. Is this gonna work? It does sort of work, okay. Um, So, they not only did they replace our panel which in our basement which was corroded but they then replaced our entire uh meter outside which was corroded um and that i guess long story short it it took them a while not only did it it wasn't the meter that they replaced it was the connection so they had to call linesmen from the provider to actually like fix the lines, the electrical lines where it connects to the house. Yeah. yeah go ahead and read those things. Also, I apologize if you can hear that siren. It is really goddamn loud. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> but go ahead. Erica says my wallet is suddenly burning. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Yep. 
So they they replace yeah. so they they work to replace that because by the way, right? We told you an inspector came out. We told you that the head technician came out. He then had to call for the bucket truck again. So the same guy with the bucket truck comes out. Now there's three different people in three different vehicles. They then have to call our provider as well to send out the linesmen who show up and uh, like to bring the meter back and check to make sure that the inspector does his job. But the inspector doing his job means that he inspects and finds that the electric still isn't good enough so the uh, people from our provider are still out there while these guys are working because they have our meter and they're not giving it back until the electricians finish their work. So now we have a fourth truck with a fourth person outside of our home for the second night in a row or second day in a row because the first day we had four trucks, two from our provider and two from the electrician. So they do all of their work which included by the way because we had had a storm i have to go out and amy helped but i had to go out and shovel like crazy because we have the sidewalk right outside of our house so i had to shovel the sidewalk i had to shovel the stairs so that they could get into the house i don't want anybody slipping and falling and hurting themselves one for liability purposes but two because i'm not a dick bag so i also just don't want people to get hurt that's not cool um but you're a dick box yes definitely a dick box yeah. uh so, um, so we deal with all of that, um, and then they, we are now in the house freezing because we have no electricity, we have no degrees. heat, it's 50 degrees in the house, we, um, it gets to the point where, I mean, like, at this point, it's been well over 24 hours that we have not had electricity in the house. Yep. It's snowing outside actively at this time mm-hmm. as well. Shit, personal. Um, and has been. Yes. All so, night long. Right. So, I, I mean, I shoveled all the snow, but there's still more coming down right. at, at all times. Um, shit. So, um, these guys are working, and they come in at one point. Amy and I are, like, huddled together for warmth pretty much right here eating our leftover Taco Bell that was left over from the night before. Cold. C- very cold. Cold-ass Taco Bell. Because we didn't have electricity, so we had no way of heating it up. And we couldn't leave because... And where would we go to heat it up? Well, but, we, but also, we couldn't leave because people were all over our house. <laughs> yep. So, okay. God, these fucking harpies. Super annoying. Um, yeah, and they don't stop either, so I think I just have to go here. Um... So, we are then told by the head technician who comes in, he says, so, uh, I'm going to have to put the meter in, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get this done for you today. Which means that now Tuesday, we're going to have to again stay in a hotel. Of course I died again, son of a bitch. Um, Of course we're going to have to stay in a hotel again. Uh, So... Uh, we're still sitting here waiting because while they're working and while they're coming in and out of the house, we can't leave to go to the hotel now right. or at that point to do my work or be warm or whatever, have access to like a warm bed, God forbid, or something like that. Or a shower or just electricity in general. Yep. Warm food, any of that stuff. Nope. So he says that. Now, I guess spoilers... Thankfully, they were able to get it done Tuesday night. Uh, But because the house was cold, we probably still would have wanted to stay in a hotel. So we had to decide on that, which whatever. That's neither here nor there. But when you're in the house dealing with that stuff, just hearing him again say to you, by the way, uh, we're not going to be able to do this again for you. Sucks. (laughs) You can read more. So, Eric said, or C. Helen says, so that's why you're called Geek for All. It's Geek for Truckle. I don't get that. Why don't I get that? Well, I guess truck. Oh, four, for tr- no, no, four trucks. Because there were four trucks the oh. first night and four trucks yeah. the second day. Okay. Sorry, okay. I got there. Yeah. I like it. Bit. <laughs> okay. Yes. 
That's definitely what it is. It's our it's our hubris coming back to bite us. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, that was an issue. Uh, but then Erica, as to answer your question or uh, your comment from before, um, the guy says to us. By the way, I forgot to mention this part. This part's my favorite. Oh no! The guy mentions to us. He says, "Hey, by the way, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to replace your whole." Uh, meter as well and blah 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 because it's all it's all corroded and stuff so okay it's all corroded too what does that mean um so he says I, I, I said to him I was like how much is this gonna cost me I said I just paid you thirteen hundred dollars last night for me to not have electricity still so he tells me the amount that he guessed that it would be, which was approximately what it ended up being. A little bit more, actually, was what it ended up being. But yeah. regardless, but he gives that number and he says, so do you want me to do the work? So I said, if you don't do the work, do I have electricity? And he goes, well, no. I was like, then I guess you're doing the work. <laughs> like, what the hell? I have no, no electricity. You make the choice to just live without electricity in this house now no <laughs> you dim yeah like he's the head of, he's the head like repairman or electrician like it's not like we're gonna get somebody more experienced like sure i guess after people have been in that in our house looking at our equipment for seven eight plus hours oh. sure i guess we could hire someone else to get a second give us a second opinion but is it worth it? Right. No. Like, we've already been here long enough. Like, we just want the people who are here and know the story to fucking finish what they were doing. As opposed to, like, having to explain the story over to these new people. Yep. Like, maybe that's what he assumed, is that we would want to go with somebody else at that point and try to get, like, a better price. But, no. Like, no. Yeah, yeah that's just we, it. We, we just need this done. Yep. Like, just hurry the hell up. Yeah. Just figure it out. Yep. Like, you're the only people who can figure this out. Just <laughs> fucking do it. That's <laughs> what you get paid for, and we paid you so much money. Yep. So, sure enough, uh, we paid the 1300 uh on Monday night, and then come Tuesday, when they did, in fact, finish the job, they bring us the they bring us the payment, or the, the, uh, the, the, bill. the bill, thank you. Seventeen hundred dollars plus, right? I'm rounding here. So the whole electrical job, emergency electrical job that we did not anticipate, correct, cost over three thousand dollars in the span of two days during a massive storm in cash. No storm because we don't have not in cash. Oh no, we used our card. We You're right. It. They took a card. Thank God. I was like, because we don't have a checkbook, but we did not have to pay for that in cash. Thank no. God. $3,000. Just, you know, like we just had that. Yeah, because it was completely out of nowhere. We were not expecting it. We were not ready for it. Nothing. Oh, so let's finish the story, but let me uh but read read uh comments first okay me. uh battle is here and says there's a story <laughs> <laughs> it's a story all right what's up battle yeah we're telling some things uh erica says i think i hate everyone involved in this story except you two <laughs> yeah we think we do too mm -hmm. the thing is like everybody was so nice but it's because they felt so fucking bad for us. The, well, the best they was fix the problem. The best was all the electricians <laughs> who were like asking us questions about what it looked like in the basement because our basement is fucked and it has nothing to do with us. <laughs> it's how the people that owned the house previously left the basement. Right. So I was like, look, we have not been in this house that long, so don't ask me about the basement. We didn't do it. Right. And they were like, oh, how uh, you know? Oh, you just bought the house. Congratulations. I was like, thanks. They're like, how long have you been here? I was like, two weeks. Then all of them had the same response. Like, ouch. Yeah. yeah ouch. <laughs> yeah, we can't fucking afford this. Yep. <laughs> uh. Yeah. We haven't been in the house a month yet, and we have a $3,000 electric bill. 
Or electrician bill. Electric right. bill is very different. Yeah. But. Jana is here and says, hello, my beautiful sunflowers. How is everyone on this beautiful Friday? Oh, oh Jana. a heart you're, and a you're, sunflower. You're such a lovely ray of sunshine during our awful story. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Battle says, sounds fishy. Nuka Penna. Oh. Electrical. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The mob handling our <laughs> electrical. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Um, and see how long it says be right back. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah. So, uh, then, uh, I forgot to mention that the COO of the electric company yeah. is at our house during the, at the end of this job or towards the end of this job. Introduces himself to Amy because I was in another room doing probably literally anything else, <laughs> to be honest. I would have shaken his hand, except that I was swaddled. Uh, so I proceeded to tell him, I'm, I'm swaddled, so I can't really help you right now. Uh, but, yeah, that's how big of a job it was. The electric company sent their COO out to our house. Essentially to make sure that, like, they could actually do anything about this problem and then to like <laughs> absorb some of the um frustrations from us basically yeah, the, the, like terrible attitude that they just expected us to have at that point which at that point we were just so tired and just wanted it to be over it that needed to be over. we weren't even in a bad mood we were just like please <laughs> just please yep you know calmly sitting there going just please <laughs> <laughs> ah, son of a bitch. Dave is here and says, Heart, lurking in. Uh, I hope you don't encounter that crash where Kratos makes everyone awaken at midnight <laughs> to make an entire staff laugh <laughs> and then yell. <laughs> there was, I forget what game that was from, Dave. Damn. Coming in with the, with the throwbacks. That's a real thing. There was a there was a glitch that we had in a God of War game at camp one summer, where the the screen froze, and Kratos over and over again. You could just hear him in the background going, ruh, 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 over and over again. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what. I don't remember what game. I had forgotten that it occurred at all until Dave mentioned it just now. Cool. Thank you, Dave. Erica says, I beg of you, please tell me you're getting reimbursed for some of this. Some, yes. Because we're not done with our story yet. Yeah. Right? We had called the insurance because the oven had burnt out during that power surge of trying to turn the electric back onto the house. Well? Well, we didn't say it was a power surge yet. Oh, well, yeah. So the, the electricians told us basically when you have a neutral wire that is corroded and makes bad contacts like that, that is when you start throwing surges. And so that is why our oven burnt out, which we told them about. And they, first of all, you could smell that oven Ugh, until today. That yep. thing burnt out midday Monday, and you could still smell it today. I cleaned the wall over there, and still, when they put the new oven in that spot, it still smelled. I cleaned the wall, I cleaned the floor, I cleaned everything. That whole area had had days to air out. It doesn't matter. The smell is still there of the burnt electrical equipment inside of the back of the oven that got burnt out from a power surge blowing it out. See, Holland says, just seen Miss Marie post a video, so commented to come hang out here. Thank you, See Holland. <laughs> yeah, I miss her. Yeah, for sure. I miss Miss Marie. <laughs> Uh, Winter says, you were already at stage five of grief by the time the COO got there. Yeah, her. yeah. We sure were. We sure yeah. were. We're just like, what What do we have to do? Just please leave. <laughs> like, <laughs> do we have electricity? Good. Goodbye. Get out of my house now. 
Um, so, sure enough, the COO warns us. And he says, look, you're going to have to check your electronics. And we were like, yeah, it already burnt out the oven. Um, so, he tells us we have to check our electronics. He says that to YouTubers. Yeah. So, I was, at that point, terrified. We check. We had a uh, surge protector power strip that had burnt out. That had these two monitors that are plugged in, plugged into it. Yes. The surge protector, thank God, in blowing out, had saved our monitors. But not only had it saved our monitors. I don't know why I didn't do it. I just didn't think of it. But we had plugged in the PC and a couple of other things to a power strip uh, on the other side of this table than the uh, uh, the surge protector that blew out. And that power strip, for whatever reason, because I didn't check, that power strip is the only power strip that we own that is not a surge protecting power strip. And that's the one that we had the PC plugged into. Yep, and all the other stuff. Like all the but, main things. But the two monitors. Yeah. But, but, luckily... The PC is fine. This is not a new PC. Thank God. Um, because, you know, after $3,000 of electrical work, you definitely want to also buy a very expensive PC as well. On top of it. Luckily, all of the things were plugged into this same room. And this same room, all of these outlets are all in the same circuit. So when it hit the first outlet in this room, the surge protector that was plugged into it absorbed the surge. And blew. And blew out. But it saved the monitors and, like Amy said, everything else on the circuit including the PC. Fucking yes. So if I could bronze that surge protector, I probably <laughs> would. Uh, because I don't know what else I would have done it with that. It is covered in soot. It's black. It's got two black splotches on it. It's covered in literal soot. Um, let's see. Uh... Winter says, oh, uh, I read that one already. Jayanna says, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> that smell. Get you some fabuloso and boil it for a minute. <laughs> that should fix it, LOL. We do have fabuloso. We do. Um, but uh, we haven't been able to use the oven yet, and we still can't. So I can't boil water. Yeah, the new oven's not ready yet. We only just picked <laughs> it up today. Yeah. Um, despite the fact that it blew out Monday. So, <laughs> you know. You know. Fun times all around. Uh, Jayanna says, Miss Marie, oh my god, I miss her. Yeah, we do too. Um, Shit. Winter says, I'm going to faint. <laughs> you got so lucky. Frame that surge protector and make a shrine. Yep, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So, now... The surge protector blew, our oven blew, but also our fridge blew. So not only did we have food in a fridge without electricity for uh, over 24 hours, but then even once we got electricity back, we couldn't do anything about it. The fridge was the dead. The fridge was dead. So, and to, the freezer. And well, yeah, it's they're they're the same. Yeah. yeah. So our fridge is, was dead, our freezer was dead, our oven was dead, one power strip dead, and $3,000 in electrical bills. You know. Electrician bills. Sorry, yeah. thank you. So yeah. Just a typical Monday. What did you guys do this week? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... I, I, we still can't use the oven slash stove. Um, I made it! Nice. It's not fully hooked up yet. Uh, the fridge is, thank God, because we had 
a few items that we were able to salvage and, and keep in there, like bread and stuff, because that technically doesn't have to be kept cold. Um, yeah, so we had, like, some fresher produce, because I had, I had gone grocery shopping, like, right before this happened. Of course I did, right? I filled the fridge and freezer right prior to this happening. Yep, so we had to, for the insurance, we took a picture of the fridge and freezer full of stuff and then itemized everything, which was three pages on a legal pad of all of the food that we had to throw away. But there's a max payout for groceries of $500. Which I, I don't remember if he got yes, to that yet. Yes, we got $500 for the groceries, thank God. Um, but it was definitely worth more than $500 of groceries that we had. Yeah. But I was grateful to get anything at that point. Yep. Truly. Um, C. Holland says, you don't have kettles over there? <laughs> <clears throat> what? Yeah, but we, what, we'd, we'd have to start a fire. <laughs> we yeah, it, it, <laughs> we it, don't have an oven. What, we have like a hobo <laughs> gas can that we got in the center of our house that would have kept us warm and we could have put a kettle on? <laughs> Uh, Jayanna says, no, not the fridge. Yep. Three crying faces and three broken hearts. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. Uh, Goodness, what a week. Oh, my fucking God. Yep. Yep. Yes. So, oh, shit. Yeah, it was it was a hell of a thing, man. I yeah. don't. It was ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, finally was... today we went and got the new fridge and the new oven the oven is almost in entirely. Uh, the fridge is connected and has the rest of the food in there. There's not much in there, but there's some stuff. Are right, you ready for this? We got the Phoenix ashes to where they need to be. And so now, let's resurrect that Phoenix. And now there's a steam vent there, or some steam rising there, so we can go like this and get brought up to this level. But first, we're going to want to save. But anyway, so keep going and or read some things. Um, see, Helen says, no, when you had electricity back, but oven wasn't replaced yet? Nope. No, because it was, it was burnt out. It had burnt out on Monday. Erica says, hi, Jana with a heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we finally today got um, a fridge and an oven. Uh, the oven is still not entirely hooked up. The fridge is, there's a little bit of food in I there. I was going to say, but we didn't get a chance to go shopping, so. <laughs> um, he finally was able to um, get the washer and dryer hooked up as well uh, the other day, and... Um, it like wasn't working, so uh, yesterday I had to have there. him check that again today. So today it was working. So today we finally have a fridge and a washer dryer. So I did two loads of laundry, and uh, we have a working fridge freezer. Uh, but an oven hopefully will be finished tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. I did also send, uh, a picture of 
some of the food that we had to purchase, like the ready-made food that we had to purchase uh, to the insurance company, which he did not mention at all because, as I assumed, uh, we aren't getting reimbursed for that at all. Yeah. Um, now, uh, he... Yeah, this is... Uh, um, they did reimburse us for some stuff. Um, it seems like they pretty much reimbursed us for everything, at least, like, to whatever degree they're going to. Um, but, yeah, uh, it, we're, we're not fully reimbursed at all. Nope. Erica says, I assume at this point you seriously debated just throwing yourselves into the washing machine. <laughs> Yeah. Not that specifically, but there definitely were considerations of where to go. <laughs> yeah. Like, just, you know. Oh, that was the fire that was over there, so that's not that. How do I get up there? Do I go like this? That's not it. How do I get up there? How do I do such a thing? Winter says, this is the part when you reveal your new merch line. <laughs> Damn it. You unlocked the door with the hail of Boreas. Okay, so we did it. Because we got the gem. So now we go in here. It's a very bloody room. Hmm. Uh, oh, wait. Is there more in here than this? Get off. What's this? Yeah! We got something. Okay. So keep going. Erica says, so, um, can I share some good news or would that be, uh, insensitive? <laughs> no, we would love that to hear good news. Yeah. In fact, what was the line that our, that our repair guy said to us the other day? He was like, what do you want first? The bad news or the bad news? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> uh, so funny. See, Helen says, we need Geek for All t-shirt. <laughs> Yes, well, those t-shirts, unless they cost uh, $1,300, <laughs> uh, they're not really going to do much for us, unfortunately. And unfortunately for you, you definitely don't want to spend that kind of money on a t-shirt. <laughs> All right, you ready for this? Yeah. Check this out. There's a horn in front of us, and there's the phoenix trapped in the lava flow. So... Now it can fly. Uh, dude, watch where you're knocking. Nope, there they go. He was knocking on their knockers. <laughs> 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 and there's the phoenix landing on its perch. Yeah. Okay. On the other side. just showing us stuff okay. all right now you can read things uh let's see so erica says so as a birthday present i'm getting my first ever final fantasy cosplay Ooh, Ooh that sounds fun for, when's your birthday for or of whom yeah see holland says each <laughs> nice. Thumbs up. Yeah, 1300 each. Yeah. Winter says, write Supreme on their shirt. <laughs> yeah, yep. and then it'll be worth it, right? Yep, of course. That'll make it worth Everyone will pay $1, that much. $1,300. Exactly. I mean, if it's one of a kind, it's an exclusive. Uh, if it's one of a kind, <laughs> no, it would not be. No, we would make one. That's oh, oh. <laughs> we would make the one ring. Yeah. Magic card. <laughs> That's it. That's what we have to do. We have to pull the one ring. That's how we'll pay for all this stuff. There you go. Yes. We figured it out, everybody. Our chances are just great <laughs> for that. Uh, <laughs> I found some scratch-offs as I was going through some stuff, and uh, I was like, okay, we just need to, you know, win big on these scratch-offs. We won $2. Two whole so, dollars. Yeah. Um, and that was after the um, 
the greeter at Walmart had told me that I should play the lottery. <laughs> uh, because I guess he had a premonition that I was going to be lucky if I played the lottery. <laughs> um, well, uh, he was very wrong. <laughs> um, Erica says it's on the 22nd. Oh. Boo. No birthday stream. And it's Rhinoa from Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, okay. D did I pronounce that right? Uh, Rhinoa. Rhinoa. So, the 22nd of March? Like, five days from now? Uh, she says, Joe, do not make NFT shirts. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. That is a pretty terrible idea. <laughs> See, Helen <clears throat> says, NFTs. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Amazing. I, I like NFT shirts, though. That's funny to me. Yeah, that is funny. <laughs> We should just make t-shirts that just say NF. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Or that say NF t-shirt. <laughs> right? Why did nobody think of this before? <laughs> this is going to be our merch. <laughs> NF t-shirt. It's, it's not. <laughs> it's definitely not. That's no, we don't want that. <laughs> um, Winter says, magic psychic Walmart reader sounds very on brand. I would do anything they told me. <laughs> there we go. Killed him. Oh, God. Ow. God damn it. Right. Yeah, um, I wasn't about to actually buy lottery tickets. Uh, I don't gamble. Uh, but... Uh, it, was a, it was from a Christmas present. From genuinely like two years ago. <laughs> yeah, I, but I found scratch offs in a box that I opened, so um, I scratched them because you know I was like, well, we need to figure out if these are winners or not. So because <laughs> we need them, we, we did need them, but um, well, we didn't need these because we only won two dollars on them, but. We we needed to win something. <laughs> um, yeah. Yes, yes, we did it. Question is, what did we do? Oh, good. Okay. Shit! Come on. Really? There we go. Okay, well, we made it out here at least. Health? Do we need that? Eh, not really. Is there something more back here? There sure isn't. Okay. Awkward. So, Erica, that's pretty cool. Um, I wish I knew more about it enough to, like, say, but... <gasps> Look what we're doing. I, I think it's awesome, though. Yeah. Okay. We're doing stuff. Can we go back down? We can't, right? Yikes. How do we... How do I get out of here? Did this open now? It did! Okay, thank God. This music's fucking rad. Yeah. And spooky. Oh. Oh. Come too far to fail. This part's cool. Right? I'm digging it. Oh, Jesus. He's doing great. Ow. Rude. This is like the third person we've encountered doing this challenge who's like made it pretty far. Mm -hmm. I feel like they probably should have made these challenges a bit harder then. Oh! If like there's this oh. many people who are like successfully getting through it. 
who it is. You? Who is it? He was one of our soldiers. My lord? <sighs> I told you to return to Sparta. Why do you leave Sparta unprotected? Sparta is no more. I was just about to say this exact, exact this? words. Zeus. He came under the cloak of darkness. Oh, that motherfucker. Distracted AF. Oh! Conveniently. Ow. It's almost <clears throat> like Zeus did that on purpose or something. Oh shit. So fucked. <laughs> yeah. I was left with no choice. I had to seek out the sisters to change the fate of our beloved Sparta. For I am all that is left. <coughs> now you are all that is left. I have faith that our brothers of Sparta will live on. Through the true god of war. Fuck. Zeus! Is this how you face me, coward? I am through doing the bidding of the gods. Come down here and face me now, Zeus. Look who it is, Amy. Who? Do you love him? He is yucky. <laughs> oh, I thought you would like this guy. Um, well. Oh, shit. I'm, uh, I'm just walking. He's like angry Jabba the Hutt with tentacles and spikes. Oh, I literally can't do anything. I can't attack. I can't. Oh. At stake here. I cannot defeat the gods. Victory favors you, Kratos. But you must grab hold of your destiny and command it. There is a war on the horizon, and we need you to lead us into battle. On the horizon? To what end? The death of Zeus. If you relent, Zeus will torment you still. He will not rest knowing you live. And when you die, his brother Hades will see that your soul is tortured for all eternity. You will have no rest until you destroy him. Take within you this fire that burned your beloved Sparta. Let it fuel your rage and hasten your steps towards destiny. The time to act is upon us, Kratos. This battle is just the beginning. It's 
weird. I never thought of like an old lady voice being quite so sexy. <laughs> Her voice was. is incredible. Rage of the Titans upgraded. Okay. And so, as it increases... The rage of the Titans fuel your blades, Kratos. Ready? Yeah. Oh. It's our friend. Yeah, he did. Yeah, we killed him. This guy... should be dead. Because he's... kind of an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> And he seems like he wants to be dead. I mean, he's very mad. He's jerking off these pillars pretty well, though. Ah, oh, closed. Them away. Uh, Erica says, yeah, this Wednesday for her birthday. Uh, awesome. Very cool. Uh, Winter says, um, oh, I read, I read that already. Um, Winter says, I love the silhouette fight. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Uh, see, Holland says, I'll put a bet on the rank outsider on the Grand National for you on 5th, 15th April. Grand National is like your Kentucky Derby horse race. Nice. Okay. Nice. Very cool. Come on, man. We get back over there. This sucks. Erica says, but yes, my birthday is in five days. I was going to make a joke about expecting a present, but given all the money, what? Nothing. This, this part is enough, but keep going, please. Um, but given all the money you spent this week, I can't do that in good conscience. Well, I have to say, Erica, uh, personally, I did not remember if you maybe told us in the past I did not remember that that's when your birthday was um and I that is a very special day for me in terms of birthday so that means a lot to me that's really cool see Holland says I usually do five horses at one euro each way oh okay I'll do six this year wow well, thank you. That's really nice. Yeah, I think it's for Erica, right? No. No? He said, I thought it was... I'll put a bet on the rank outsider on the Grand National for you on the 15th of April. Okay. So is that because it's Erica's birthday, or, or is it for us for good luck? I assume for our money problems. Yeah. It could be for Erica's birthday. I don't know why I didn't think of that first. <clears throat> Oh, he's got a boil on his head. Yes, that's what we've been attacking. Oh, he's boiled. Yeah, there's also a, an open wound on his tentacle over here. Oh, maybe that's why he's angry. <laughs> okay. So he lifted it up. And so now we can go get this guy. So then we use this to go like this, and then attack the boiler. Oh, okay, yeah, we should let it drain. There we go. And then we can disinfect it for him. <laughs> right, so what we actually have to do is 
his thing got, his uh, arm got stuck, or tentacle, or whatever you want to call it. So now we have to go up here and break this. And slice it off. Oh no. Oh, you hurt him worse. Yes! But he was already in so much pain. <laughs> now he's really gonna be mad. He's, he's, he's pretty upset. He's killing ups us. <laughs> he's killing us. He's trying. says, ugh, Dad, you are so embarrassing. <laughs> He's crack a lacking. <laughs> come on, come on. See, Helen says, for you, because you spend so much money. We did yes, spend we did. quite a bit of money. Thank you, See, Helen. That's very kind. Uh. <laughs> oh. So that's where its arm got stuck, and so we're going to break oh, there now oh, and cut its other arm. I don't want to. Just, just, just let his boil drain. Let his boil drain? He'll like us again. <laughs> just be nice to him. He doesn't deserve it. You don't know. He's an abomination. He doesn't deserve his life. <laughs> He doesn't deserve his life, but we're going to kill him. So. Like he deserves a good life, I mean. Our friend. Oh, no. We deserve that. He ate our friend. Because we cut his arms. <laughs> ah. Yucky. He threw up. Oh! Get him, get him, get him. Go, go, go. Yes! Oh, no. And now we pull this because... Oh. Oh, no. I thought he was just going to fall into the water. Every time, everybody. I every didn't, single I didn't time. love him, but I'm still sad. <laughs> God. <laughs> wow. What a boss fight, huh? Good. I don't want to. It's, it's boilers. not his fault. It's boilers still there. Yeah, because you suck. <laughs> Why do I suck? You were supposed to drain the boil. And you didn't. Now it fell into the water. Okay. So now something else will eat it, I guess. Yeah. And then turn into a crazy mutant gross thing with boils as well. <laughs> and be angry about that. <laughs> and then we'll have to kill that thing, too. <laughs> Go ahead, read some things. <laughs> Marcus says, just in case this is my last contribution, R.I.P. Lance Reddick, The Wire, John Wick, Oz. Also, uh, we knew him from Fringe. He was on Lost, and we haven't watched the season yet, but he, uh, I mean, he lended his voice to many video games, etc. Yeah. Um, but to uh, Thordak in season two of The Legend of Vox Machina on Amazon Prime. What an awesome dude. Yeah. And yes, rest in absolute peace. My God. All right, let's see what we can do here. You ready? Oh, well, no. it, we messed up a little bit. Okay, let's try that again. You ready? No, why would you try it again? Because we need it. <sighs> why? Because we need the phoenix. Because it's a fucking bird and it wants to be left alone. Yeah, but it can't be left alone. We need it. No, we don't. 
Yeah, we need it to take us to the Temple of the Sisters of Fate. And so here we go. That doesn't look like a temple. It looks like a mountain. Well... Here we go. Oh. Does this mountain have a face? It's a bird. Remember we opened its wings by reading the books or uh, making those guys read the books by slamming their heads into it over and over? I didn't realize that was this. Oh, okay, yeah, I see it now. Thanks, bro. <laughs> the Temple of the Fates. We did it. And if you notice, everything is slowed down in here. Yeah. It's just cool. perpetually slowed down time. Oh, it's at R1. Ah, look at that. Nice. So Winter says, it's okay, Amy. If Joe didn't get him, then a plastic bag probably would. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's probably true. Oh, a bell rang. Okay. We rang a bell. See, Helen says, a bridge too far. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It sure was. All right. So we can ring the bell over and over again. That's something, I guess. Um, but now we've made it to the Temple of the Sisters of Fate. <clears throat> or the Temple but, of Fate or whatever. But they're not here. I mean, they're probably here somewhere. So how do we find them? Solving puzzles and whatnot. We can, uh... Oh. Oh. It's Kronos. Hey, bro. What you <gasps> so we can freeze time. And then go over here. No. Do the thing. Yup. There we go. And then, how do we... Face is cracked. Yeah, it is. How do we do the thing again? Is there a... This is just where we came in? Oh, it's a safe point. Yeah, okay. huh. We still got time in the stream, but, you know. I was going to ask if you want to have food after the stream. Yes. Of course. Okay, of course I do. <laughs> oh, good. Here we go. I found it. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. There we go. That's what we want. So let's try that again. Sorry. Okay, so then we go over here. We made it. Oh no! I did it wrong. It's this first. Then freeze time. Then go over here. Seriously? Damn it, man. Fine, whatever. I didn't want to do it anyway. <laughs> I lied, I did want to do it. <laughs> did you want to kill my friend? He wasn't your friend. You didn't even like him. Well, he was just really mad, and I felt bad. Wait for it? Come on. Yes! Oh. I didn't crack it. He really wasn't my friend, but you know, now that he is dead, I'm I'm mad he wasn't my friend. <laughs> oh, good. Is there a way to do this? <sighs> no. Alright, let's try 
this again, I guess. Winter says, Amy is sad over what could have been. <laughs> yeah. Get up, get up, get up. Press it. Quick, 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 quick. Do the thing. There's got to be more to it than that, right? So we... It could have been a beautiful friendship between me and a very angry abomination. <laughs> and you know what? I would have drained his boils for him. He would have felt so much better, and he would have been less mad. <laughs> How would you have drained his boils for him? Explain that to me. I figured it out, by the way. Fixed it. I would have popped them with a pin, and then I would have drained them, oh, and I would have disinfected them for him, and put Neosporin on them, and then Band-Aid, and kissed him better. And kissed him better? In the hopes that he wouldn't have been so angry? Yeah. And then he would love me. And then he would say, ugh, when he saw you and he would kill you. <laughs> so he would say, I don't love him. I only love Amy. Because she's nice to me instead of just trying to kill me for no reason. <gasps> Just because I have boils <laughs> and I'm angry about it and didn't pain. Oh my god, why? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, our spear <laughs> is being leveled up. Altering slash. And now our spear is at max rank. Nice. It's not our spear, Joe. Is that what it is? My yes. mistake. You have to say it like that. Spear of Destiny. There it is. Yeah, that doesn't look like Spear of Destiny, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, uh. Oh yeah, but we want to stay in there because we gotta go this way, right? Yep. Okay. So this is magic. We don't need that right now. We don't need health either. Which is good, because they didn't offer it to us, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want health? Fuck you. <laughs> Where do I, oh, loading. Oh. There we go. The throne of Lachesis. Oh. Meet one of the sisters of fate. Hey, girl! <laughs> yeah. If only you were Kratos or vice versa. This is the one with her boob out. Oh. Out of my way. Your resolve is admirable. Even if it is misguided. You'd hang out with your sister with your boob out? destiny, Kratos. We sisters determine the fate of all. <laughs> it was I who deemed that the Titans lose the Great War, and I who have allowed you to come this far. It is not your destiny to kill Zeus. You no longer control my destiny. I see Gaia has filled you with her lies. I have warned you. Let me pass. <laughs> you have always amused us, Kratos. But know this, mortal. There is no power greater than the sisters of fate. If you challenge us, you will die. A little presumptuous. Also, your hair sucks. Wow. The rendering on it is terrible. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. So we can freeze time because she's got the thing on her head, but obviously if she is in control of her faculties or whatever, it doesn't do anything for us because she immediately stops that because mm. she's a sister of fate, so. 
Oh, fuck. I tried to knock it back out. It did not work. There we go. Ha ha! Got her! Oh. She's supposed to look like, like a turkey? She's supposed to look like a turkey? Yeah, like this, no? this weird oh, like, I see what you're saying. mantle she's wearing. Looks like a turkey. It's more peacockish, no? It's kind of peacockish, yeah. Or like pheasanty, maybe. Okay, sure. Maybe they're all just different birds. <laughs> There would have been a lot of bird-like things around here. So. Yeah. <laughs> See how it says a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's cook her up. <laughs> I'm trying, man. That ain't easy. Oh, God. Oh, shit. We're not gonna pardon this Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> We're not the president, we're a former god. <laughs> Same shit. Is it? Definitely not. Definitely not. Thank you. I was like, uh, what? Shit. Ooh, I do not remember how to fight her. No. You bolt the bird, Joe. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I taught you well. <laughs> but we don't have the Thunderbolt. That's uh, Zeus. That's true. And he's the one we're trying to kill. Yeah. We had his Thunderbolt in the first game. He gave it to us when. Uh, oh, but we, we don't have it in this one. No. We took. Oh. We put all our godly powers into the sword, and then, and then Zeus took the sword and killed us with it. Remember? Yeah. He just his dick is small, and he <laughs> was really, really trying to pretend like it wasn't. Fuck. See, Helen says that's twenty third November. Well, so it, it's it maybe this year. It's um it's the third Thursday of November, whenever that is every year. Yeah, it changes. So if that's when it is this year, then yes. Oh, oh shit! Ha ha! Oh, shit. I was hoping that would have worked. It did not. Oh! Damn. Okay. Maybe that's not going to work. It's the 16th, then. Okay. That's not the second? Yeah, that, that would have it? to be the second, right? Unless... Because even if the first one was the first... Then the second one would be the eighth. Oh no, that would that would make sense. Okay. Yeah, okay. Sorry, my mistake. I'm just sitting here not looking at the calendar, so I have no idea. Yeah. Get her. Ah. We we almost went Ocarina of Time on over here. Oh. Did you see what we did? She shot a thing at us, so we caught it and then sent it back at her. And then she caught it and sent it back at us. Like uh, when we fought Ganondorf at the end of Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Do you remember that? Shit. Ah! Ah! Oh, I guess she doesn't really look like a pheasant. Did you look up what a pheasant looks like? Yeah. Look at Shit. Oh, I'm gonna die again. This fight's tough. Eric is 
says, sorry y'all, I had a minor emergency, but in good news, I am no longer on fire. Oh, that could be an issue. Uh, Why were you on fire? Oh, shit. See, Holland says, I'll be doing my Xmas shopping on Black Friday at Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, fuck me. This is very bad. Oh! We're good. Uh, and then C. Holland asks, uh, you were your character <laughs> to Erica. Yeah. Uh, she says, loose shirt got caught in the coils of my electric stove while I was making oh pasta. My God. That is terrifying. That's bad. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like it either. <laughs> Can we, like, shoot her? Like, what are we. Oh, like, of course, there's this. Yeah. <gasps> got her. Damn it! Are you okay? Good question. And I'm sorry about your shirt, but also about your emotional <laughs> health in that moment, because that is not an easy thing to deal with. Oh boy. So she electrifies the whole floor and then shoots things at us while we uh, go up here and try to dodge. Okay, so it's not floor is lava, it's floor is lightning. Mm. Green lightning? Go green lightning! Okay. Erica says, I am fortunately. Oh, I am. Fortunately, I was right by the sink. So I was able to just throw myself at it and put the fire out. Good. Wow. <sighs> yes! Okay, and if I have to do this a million times, I will, but it's kind of cool. Shit. She seems very annoyed that we're still alive. Yeah. The feeling's mutual! Damn it. Well, she succeeded. Thanks for oh, bringing no, that up. Oh, sorry. That's okay. It's not your fault. Oh, she, she keeps making that sound like, ugh! Uh. <laughs> That's the noise I make when I'm frustrated someone's still alive. <laughs> oh shit. It's working. Erica says, and most importantly, my penne is still edible. <laughs> that is the most important thing. <laughs> not your health and well being, not. Or that of your clothing or right. household or whatever. Your, your, your shirt might be better now, right? It probably has like two big circles of just burnt out holes. <laughs> Get her. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Suck it. This is working a little better than the last time, that's for sure. Ah. Ah. I see Holland says... Please stop dying. My liver is waving. <laughs> is waving the white flag. <laughs> Erica says I am actually still wearing it. LOL. <laughs> oh, shit. What are you putting on the penne, Erica? God, I'm just so hungry. <laughs> We're gonna keep talking about food. It's fine. I, I don't mind. Oh, oh, yeah. It's get food after this. Yeah. Do we know where we're going? We... Well, we'll see. The only place going. available for us to go. Well, I mean, now that we've moved, there might be a couple more options. I would highly go. I'll try. Okay. Ah. Jesus. 
Nope. Damn it. Damn. Yes. Yes. Okay, so now she goes into the air. Here we go. Woo! That could have ended very poorly for me. But it didn't. Oh, are you serious? She barely moved. How did you miss her? Yeah. Ah, fuck. It's not the easiest thing to do. Here we go. Yes. Get her. So, what did you think of uh, what she said to us? That she was the one who decided that we could beat Ares or whatever. Yes! Um, but she will not allow us to kill Zeus. Doesn't really make that much sense. Like, why would you do this to us? To, you know, f and then not let us finish what makes sense to finish. You know what I mean? Like... Uh, like, it, did you really think that, like, I'd like you so much for, like... Allowing me to be a god for such a short period of time and like Still just allowing me to suffer so much like no Nah Shit come on Ugh. Eric Shit. says I made pink sauce, half marinara and half Alfredo with Italian sausage. Hell yeah. Delicious. Sounds great. Yes it does. Oh, that's not the right thing. It makes me want pasta now. Is she blocking it all? No, she's not. <laughs> well, speaking of pasta, Erica, I got, um... Shit. Got these sweet potato glass noodles. <gasps> Amy, look! Can I not? Are you kidding? There we go. This is the best part. Holy shit, it's so good. Whoa. <sighs> and now, that life is at an end. <laughs> we control your destiny, foolish mortal! Look where we are. So, she just broke our sword. Bitch! <laughs> the Temple of the Oracle. Yeah, because if you remember when we came back from having been teleported into that thing by Ares, just like she said, we, um, we uh, lost our, or we didn't have any powers because Ares was the one who had given them to us, so we had to... Um, 
So we had to use this sword to kill him. Yeah. Or to fight him and then kill him. There she is. Again? Yes, she is. Erica says, Ooh, I love those noodles. Are you gonna make japachi? Uh, Japchi? I, I don't know what that is, so no. Um, but these are gluten free noodles, and they're Oh shit! She, she broke it more. Yeah. And they're made of vegetables, which they they discontinued the pasta that I always used to get, um, which was the green Cybels pasta, um, the ones that are made entirely of broccoli and green lentils and spinach. Um, and, you know, that was, like, basically the healthiest pasta I could find that was gluten-free. And now they don't make it. They only make the other kinds that aren't as good. So, I'm having to find alternatives. I usually, when it comes to Asian noodles, I usually buy the mung bean Asian noodles from the Asian market, but um, it's been a while since I've gotten there, so and I wanted to try these because I thought they might have a bit more flavor. And go better with the uh, pumpkin tomato sauce that we have. Which is real good. Yeah. She says, mm-hmm. They're used a whole bunch in Korean cooking. Yes. Jope, uh, jope che is essentially those noodles stir fried with vegetables and a sauce. Okay. Yeah. I could make that. Fuck, why? I made some bibimbap for us to have this morning for breakfast. It's true. It's kind of a weird breakfast, but, <laughs> you know, but limited. We were, we were working with not a fridge or freezer, right. so. <laughs> and it was pretty good, despite the fact that I was missing, like, half the ingredients. Oh, wow, well, that did nothing to her at all. Is she not dead yet? Can we, like... No, it's really not. Like, we're doing great. Okay. She says, I love bibimbap. Man, I need to get more gochujang. I was not able to find any. Um, that was one of the ingredients that I just couldn't get. And... Um, but it was one of the things that came up as an ingredient for bibimbap when I looked up what ingredients were in it. Um, so I knew I needed to find that, but it was one of them that I just couldn't find. So um, I figure when I ultimately do get to the Asian market, maybe they'll have it because I couldn't find it on the internet. There's so many cracks in the sword now. Whoa! Don't ask me how I just did that. I did not think I got either of those. I apparently did. Where do you get yours? 
I order mine online in big tubs because it's my favorite thing in the world. Here she is. Get her, get her, get her. Got her. She needs to trim her fingernails. That's just gross. I killed her. The amount of bacteria that is probably underneath those things. Look. And so, she falls now because she was on it. Oh, but then flies off and is trapped behind her mirror. Oh, wow. It's so cool. What? This power was never meant for a mortal like you. Oh, God. I guess we have to fight her again. This is a big fight. Oh, there she is. Yeah, she really needs to cut those fingernails. It's super gross. But the skirt, though, Jesus. is pretty kicking. I'm not gonna lie. She says it on Amazon. I couldn't find it. And I wasn't gonna, like, get it from some random website that I didn't trust. Um, but I couldn't find it on Amazon. I shouldn't say that. I didn't actually check Amazon. I checked Google Shopping, and Amazon was not one of the options that came up as a place I could get it. It technically doesn't mean that Amazon doesn't have it. Really? That's really tough. All right, obviously, as soon as this fight's over, oh, Erica sent us. Uh, I'm assuming it is the link to what you were just talking about. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ow. Fuck. Trying to block this and send it back, and instead this one hit me. Ooh, got her with her sister's attack. Amazing. down. Wait, wait, wait. Get her. Oh. So she's stuck there. And so, if we destroy the mirror, she can't come back. Oh, shit. There are two more mirrors. But still. There are two more what? Mirrors. Oh. Whichever you prefer, it's the same thing. Uh. Throw it at her. Not at her. At the sis this one. Oh! Wait for her to come out. 
There it is. We got there. All right. Two down, one to go. Almost. There she is. Yes! Good. We got there. Ah! Uh, couldn't get out of the way of that one. It's fine. It's all fine. Oh! Woo! That was scary. I don't like that. No, I don't like it. I said I don't like that. Stop. Yes! Oh. She says, seriously, once you have uh, Go Chujang in the house, you'll be using it for so much. <laughs> I've literally just cooked ground beef with it, plus some Sioux sauce and sugar. Had it over rice, and it's delicious. Nice. Oh! Here we go. You ready? Yeah. We took her staff. Oh. Here's the sister. We dodge. She stabbed her sister. And now... Right through the head. And we deposit them in there. And... Wow. You did it. You can save. Whew. Oh, we did it. <laughs> so, despite C. Holland's uh, very good point of the fact that I died a lot tonight. A <laughs> lot. Um, I still beat two of the Sisters of Fate. They are dead. That's it. Yeah. It's done. Uh, and because of that, and because it is after 10 o'clock, that means that that is going to be the end of this particular stream. Winter says, good job. So proud. Thank you. Appreciate it. It was, uh, I, I had forgotten how long that fight was, but I love that fight so much. I love, like, the idea of her trying to break the sword that we used in our past to kill Ares. Because if she breaks the sword, then you die in the past. Yeah. Which means you die now because you're not alive now. So cool. I love that. Love, love, love that idea. Um, and it makes sense for the Sisters of Fate. Like, we're trying to use, to, to get the sisters to allow us to time travel back to when Zeus killed us so why not have them use that against us and time travel back to at a time when they could then make us be the ones to die yep uh, see Helen says yeah Amy Go Shuzhang uh, even comes up for me okay good well now that Erica has sent it to us we have found it so thank you Erica yes. and thank you see Holland of course as well um, but speaking of uh, thanking cool people who are in our chat uh, Amy, you've yes, got some work to do. I sure do. Because we had a lot of awesome people with us tonight yes. listening to our hell story of our <laughs> week. And honestly, there's more to it that like isn't as crazy, but still like compounds onto, you know, all the nonsense. Yeah. So we can talk more probably on Monday when hopefully we are able to actually be back for Magic Monday, 8 yeah. p.m. Eastern. So stay tuned. But anyway, go ahead. Amy. Sorry. God willing. Um, so thank you so much to C. Holland, to Winter, to Erica, to um, Marcus, to Jana, to Battle, to Dave Mann, um, and I think that's it. Yeah, I think so too. So thank you guys all for being here. You guys are all so like such loyal fans I mean that's like a sort of dumb way of saying it and I don't love it but um, you know I really um, appreciate this community and I think you guys really thank you you're welcome and I think you guys really um, it really means a lot to me that you all 
always make such an effort to be here and um you know that you care enough I, yeah you know i don't even know what else to say yeah uh winter says thank you for the stream we are loyal because we love you too sweeties <laughs> well we love you too yeah i have to say it like as awful as the like situation this week was being able to sit here have a pretty damn successful stream despite all the death um <laughs> and successful in the fact that all of you were here as well and being amazing um it, which it, is really why we do it yes right? and and that helps a fair amount so i i always appreciate that as yeah. well so it um, certainly helps to be able to like vent and just hear you guys react and have your support and uh, to be able to do the same for all of you uh, when you have moments in your life where you could really use that. Yeah. So, you know, um, thank you all so much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And by the way, my, my typical thing that I say if you did not hear your name mentioned by Amy when she thanked all the awesome folks who were here in chat because you were lurking, that's totally fine. We appreciate you too. We obviously just didn't see you in chat, which is why we did not shout you out by name. If you do want, pop into chat next time. Just say, hey, I'm here, I'm lurking, whatever. And we will be able to give you that shout out at the end if that's something that you'd like. Um, so please don't ever hesitate to talk in chat. We would love to hear from you. But also, please don't ever feel pressured to do so. Right. We appreciate you nonetheless for lurking. And if you're watching on the VOD, more, you're more than welcome to leave a comment down below with your thoughts. We, we always look forward to hearing from you, reading those comments, etc. And before I forget, I, I, we had so much that we were talking about today, I forgot to mention it. This Sunday, so the VOD goes up on Saturday for, for this stream. But this Sunday is the finale of the Telltale's The Walking Dead. Oh, wow, yeah. So, uh, if you want to hear a grown man cry, uh, <laughs> you you go you go watch that uh, that video coming out this Sunday, noon Eastern. Check it out. Um, that was a hell of a thing. And then the game that is going to be coming up after that on Sunday, you are not going to want to miss. So definitely stay tuned. If you are watching this on the VOD and you're not watching this live, just subscribe to this channel and ring that bell so that you will get notifications whenever any of our videos come out. Or if you're here on Geek For All, check the link down in the description box below for Video Games For All, and you can go sub and ring the bell over there and do the same thing here and to Gluten Free For All as well. Um, with getting into the new house, I know the magic story has started as well. We, we, have, trying, we, we have some work to do to try to be able to get all this stuff together. We haven't even been able to put our kitchen fully together and not just because of the electricity issues. Right. So yeah, we are... Let alone the, the room that we're going to be doing filming in. Because so. that is unfortunately low on the priority list compared to our bedroom and our washer and dryer to wash our clothes. So... We're doing our best. I know none of you are sitting here being like, where's all your videos? I, I get it. And so all of you telling us, don't worry about it. Take your time. I appreciate that truly. Just so that you know, we are aware and we are working on it to the best of our ability. Uh, we're going to do our best this weekend as well to try to get some stuff done. But yeah. we may also need to, you know, take a breather or something this weekend <laughs> because oh, we have had quite the week. Yeah. Um, we literally have the uh, contractor coming back tomorrow morning at 9.30 to finish up some stuff so that we have an oven. So right. we're, we're trying to get stuff done. So we appreciate you all. Yeah. Um, C. Holland says, thanks to you both. Thank you, C. Holland and, what she said. and all of you. Yeah, exactly. You guys are great. That's why we love doing this. So um, thank you all so very much for your support, uh, for your kind words, and for sharing in our misery. Because honestly, that's <laughs> like, why else? You know, we're not telling the story like, Oh, woe is me. Like, it, th these are the things that happened to us. I, I loved all of your responses. Uh, being able to make some jokes around it, but also commiserate with us about it. I, I appreciate that all. I think it's amazing. So Yeah, and I love how towards the end, it, you know, we got to change the subject to cooler things. You yeah, know? yeah. And hear about, and again, as always, hear about how all of you were doing too. It's yeah. not, we may be streaming, but it's not always just about us. No. So, yeah. So, it's about... All of us. 
Yeah. Like I said, this community means a lot to me. And and um, I want that to always be true. Yeah. So um, thank you to each and every one of you for that. Uh, as I mentioned, barring anything crazy happening, we will be back on Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern for uh, Magic the Gathering Arena for Magic Monday. If you are just here for video games or for God of War in particular, uh, no worries whatsoever. We will be back with more God of War 2 next Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So stay tuned for that as well. Uh, and in between now and whenever it is that we see you next, please make sure to continue to stay safe and happy and healthy. That is to you and yours, super important. We will try to do the same. <laughs> uh, and for now, from us here at the Geek For All family of channels, I've been Joe. And I'm Amy. And as we always say, in whichever video or stream of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks so much, everybody.